Earlier today, I was walking to a local shopping mall and I happened to pass by a Walmart. I noticed in a window one of these QR code signs and this is the sign on the, on the left here, black and white sign. And what a QR code is, QR stands for quick response. It was a, it's a type of two-dimensional barcode that was invented back in 1994 uh, for the automotive industry in Japan. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our asset managed software to create uh, this type of barcode sign. So to get started creating a, a QR code sign, as you saw in the previous photo, in Asset Manager, what you can do is just under Reporting, select at the bottom here, File Cards, Edit File Cards, and we have a template we created. It's called qrsign.crd. You just open that, and as you can see here, we have uh, a QR code, and at the top here, we just have a piece of text. You can change that, obviously, to whatever you want to say. Uh, so if I double-click on the QR sign code, at the top here, it's telling me what's going to happen when the user... Uh, click uh, scans the QR code with his phone, his or her phone. And right now it's going to open up a website, web page called asset managed software slash contact us dot ASPX. So I click OK. And so let's say I want to make some changes to this. What I can do is, for example, let's say I want to put a company logo up here, small company logo. I'll delete, delete this line and what I can do is under insert, select picture. That's gonna add, now it's going to need the dimensions of the picture. I'll make it just a small little box here on the right, upper right. Now it's asking me what file do I want to load or formula or variable. Uh, in this case, we're just going to use a graphics file that I have for our, for our company logo. And select pictures, come down here. Got this logo here, and so you can see here now each page will print out the QR code and your company logo as well up in the upper right. So I'm going to go ahead and let me just do a save as. Usually, you don't want to overwrite the template, create a new file name there, save. Now, let me exit Port Designer. Now, what I can do is under Tools, there's a command called output number of file cards and here I'm going to specify how many pages I want to print out with this uh, design on it let me just specify five click OK now it's asking me for the template I'm going to select the template I just saved qrsignlibertystreet.com I'm sorry qrsignlibertystreet.crd open and in most cases, it's better to preview before you print to make sure everything is fine. So let me select preview, start. And you can see here that I've printed, uh, previewed these five pages and each page will print out looking like this. We can even test directly using the QR code on the screen. So I've got my iPhone open, the camera app is on. It's locking into the QR code on the screen. At the top here, I'm, I have the option to open the web page, and I've done so, and it goes directly to the Contact Us page as designed. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching.